What was the main message that you tried to pass to the listeners of your today's presentation? I think the main message was uh, that I would like I wanted to point out what are the current questions in development of uh, online and online and what is the future whether we will completely turn online or whether the offline will stay and how it can cooperate together. So what are the main questions and what are the main issues and uh, are they going to cooperate or are they going to compete? I think they will have to cooperate because basically this is something what the end user they want because apparently end user would like that uh, those uh, kind of channels are merging into one companies they would like to jump from online to offline they would like to make their online choice and payment but they would like click and collect and they would like also to return to physical stores so they want to have this relationship uh, so what are the main challenges on the path to establishing a fruitful cooperation between the two different channels well, first of all, it's probably the uh, price policy, then the cost structure, and then it very much depends whether you go from online to offline or the other way around, because the onlineers going offline, they do have a certain advantage of much slimmer cost structure. So are there any good examples that you would like to point out where they have established a good cooperation between both online and offline methods? So far, not really, because the most successful parts are where the uh, classical retail chains, they bought an online activity, so there are no really synergies used. We do have an example on Czech market, which is a part of the group from Keza, it's called Datart, and they have the probably from all the offliners the best developed online platform and it reaches approximately 25 to 30 percent of their turnover so it's quite balanced compared to the others where their online activity is quite symbolical. Is it easier to retailer uh, to go online or is it easier to an online seller to start brick and mortar shop? I would say the second case is easier to go from online to offline because you can learn from mistakes the offliners are doing and you definitely have the better cost structure.